Welcome back. We are answering your questions about the coronavirus with Cone Health's Infection Prevention Medical Director, Dr. Cynthia Snyder. Remember, you can text your questions. The number is there at the bottom of the screen, 336-379-5775. Alright, this person is saying that they signed up online three weeks ago with Cone Health to get their vaccine, but they haven't heard anything. Should I have received an email that says that they got my submission? So I, I would say typically you should have received um, some sort of email confirmation. It would make sense just to reach out again to ensure that you're on the list. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this person says, I have had COVID. Is there a certain amount of time that I need to wait before I get the vaccine? You know, that is a really great question. Um, and you may get several answers. The key thing is, you know, we know you have enough immunity for a minimum of three months, probably much greater than that. Um, you can wait um, a minimum of, of like at least a month so that other people can get the vaccines that you know that you're vaccinated. But if you're feeling better and it's your turn to get the vaccine, you can get it as soon as you've recovered from it. Mm -hmm. If you're in one of the like the first two groups or so. Yeah, it's still very challenging. You know, um, I think we had mixed recommendations. We would say that, you know, you needed to be um, completed your your recovery phase and feeling better. And um, and but knowing there is really no there isn't a rush. You, sh you should have proper immunity if you've had the infection. Mm -hmm. And um, but if if the, I know people are anxious to making sure that there's enough vaccine out there for them, that they they're, they're able to get it. OK, as long so, as they recovered from the disease. Mm -hmm. So this person is saying, will the COVID-19 vaccine be less effective if I'm unable to get the second vaccine dose on time? And so let's talk about the timing and really when you need to get that second dose. You know, that's an excellent question. So the vaccines that we have available right now are two doses. The Pfizer vaccine is given on day one and day 21. And then the Moderna vaccine is given on day one and then day 28. So let's say I had the Pfizer vaccine and I was out of state. I had to go somewhere and could not get it on my day 21. Um, you should try to aim for as much as you can to get it on that day. There is some leeway you know, um, up to six weeks. But beyond that, they can't really um, recommend to get pushing it out that far because we don't know if it would be as effective. So I think try to stick as much as you can to 21 days. You can get it a, a day or two early, but um, um, and probably not push it beyond six weeks. Mm -hmm. So, the first OK, this person is asking, is Cone Health uh, only working with Moderna or Pfizer during vaccination appointments or are there both? So we are uh, predominantly using the Pfizer vaccines. Our vaccines come directly from the state health department and we have also some allotments for Moderna. But generally um, at one of the bigger uh, sites such as the Coliseum, the Pfizer vaccine will be administered there. And I'm guessing that the follow up question after that is, well, if you're getting some from Pfizer, some from Moderna, does that mean when you show up, you can say, hey, I want this one or hey, I want that one? Um, generally, um, we will not have both vaccines at one site. It's going to be at a dedicated site. And if you're you've had one shot and let's say you've got a shot in California and now you're here, such as my mom, she, she has to find um, a site that has the Pfizer vaccine. So when you call, they can help um, align you to the, site, to the sites, as well as when you look at county health departments, be it Alamance or Rockingham, they also will probably put some description of which vaccine they have. Mm -hmm. Because you do have to get the same dose of the first one that you got. And for people okay, to say, well, what, what would happen if I didn't and I got the other one instead? That is a good question. Um, we, I, I suspect that you may not have the same efficacy of the vaccine. So it wouldn't be greater than 95% because it's a little bit of a, you're using, um, you know, two different vaccines that have a, a little bit of a different target. 
and they, they're not considered interchangeable at this stage. Mm -hmm. So this next person is asking, will the vaccine help against the new variants that are popping up? We, you know, uh, we are looking to a lot of the research that's coming out of Europe to find out that inform to find out those answers. I think it's a little bit too soon to tell exactly like what percentage it's useful. We we suspect that it does still help. Um, however, it probably doesn't. Um, I think the key thing is that it does it prevents like severe disease or hospitalizations, you know, so you still may get it, you know, but it's but a, maybe a milder form. Mm -hmm. This person is asking if I have a cloth mask, should I be OK wearing just one mask or should I double up on cloth masks? And really, the answer depends on whether you can see through the mask. Yeah, well, it, you know, a lot of masks. Um, this is a good time to look at your your baskets of facial masks that you have. And if some of them are just one layer, those are not sufficient. I would say easily, you know, put them aside. If you were wearing neck gaiters and you could see through them, those two are very, too, they're, they're not sufficient enough. They have to be doubled over. And um, in the event, if you still really like your cloth mask, you can put um, like a surgical mask, you know, the, the ones that are not made for medical purposes. And then, so it's like a, maybe a, these types of masks and then put the cloth masks on top. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure people have seen that quite a bit in the community or they've seen it in pictures from other cities. Mm -hmm. um, quickly, any concern that the vaccine could learn could lead to other health problems down the road like cancer? I mean, we've just been hearing about stroke. So we feel that the vaccine is still very, very safe. You know, when we look at long-term complications uh, from a vaccine, it shows up within the first uh, 50 to 60 days. So even, you know, we've had folks who've had, who were on the clinical trial part of it, and now look at all the millions and millions of people that already received the vaccine, and it is, it is very safe. Um, you know, do we hear of some rare um, side effects, you know, that, that they're trying to investigate, such as um, having low platelets that may put you at risk for stroke? Um, they are investigating that, but it doesn't seem to be more than what they had estimated to be happening in the community. Mm -hmm. I think people worry about the flu vaccine, how it caused um, a Guillain-Barre syndrome that we're, we're not seeing that type of, um, of association with this vaccine. All right, and let me clarify, I read that too fast. I was saying COVID and stroke vaccine that we have not really seen that. What we are seeing is a side effect of possibly COVID would be stroke and heart disease down the line, but not the vaccine. So sorry Correct. about that. Yes, okay. Yeah. All right, all right, we're gonna continue to take your questions. The number is at the bottom of your screen. We'll be right back.